uh, Popcorn Theology, we're doing com- Comedy Month, and this yeah. is the penultimate episode. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of like the point and purpose of comedy, and and obviously since we're watching a spoof, spoofs in particular, and kind of like some of my ideas, and Miles, you can chime in here you know, as, yep. you, as you see fit, is spoofs examine the, like the mundane in life and find how you can make it humorous if taken literally. And like yeah. there's the one there's the one scene uh in it like towards the end where the one where the bad guy goes Drebin and the girl goes Frank and he goes you're both correct. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. It's, it's it's just those types of things that there's there's a line in in the TV show that I remember. And when the person pours a cup of coffee and hands it to him is like coffee and he goes Yes, it is. <laughs> it's like just yep. just the the things that mundane life, like the English language, like how it's used. Uh, yeah. The opening skit we did, like you, what a, a word said one way can mean something completely different to the person if taken it literally yeah. in another sense of the word. And I, that's one of the things I've always loved about spoofs is that they look at. They look at the mundane in life and find out how it can be absurd or humorous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one of, the, one of the other things is that humor does and spoofs in particular is they'll purposely take a situation that shouldn't happen and just like blow it way out of proportion. So the other end of the spectrum going from the mundane to like, how how that happen? And they just make it the extreme and the, and the absurd. And, the example in this is the fire scene where he burns down that entire, yeah, yeah. that entire. And the whole point is, is he's tried so hard to be quiet. Yeah. And then just, <laughs> that's often what it feels like when you're trying to do something. It's like, my work is cursed. Thorns and thistles. <laughs> and it just gets so out of hand. Yeah. 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 So what, one of my sisters, and it reminds me of real, you know, real life. It goes back to real life. One of my sisters, she, this was years ago. Or probably when we were all teenagers, she saw a TV commercial where a young guy was driving down the street. He was blasting another one bites the dust. And he was like, he had his arm out the window and he was going like, yeah, rock and rock into the beat. And then the scene zooms out. It's like, it zooms out. And the guy, he's driving a hearse. Mm. <laughs> and my sister thought this was hilarious. I have no idea what the commercial was advertising. No idea what it was advertising. She mm-hmm. thought it was hilarious. And she joked. And she goes, as she says, I want this played at my funeral. And so that's like, that's just kind of what our family did. Um, yeah, that, that reminds me of one of my favorite patterns of jokes was those Geico commercials back in the, the 90s and 2000s. I like them to illustrate kind of the Christian life where something terrible would happen. Obviously terrible. Car gets busted. Or anything, and the person says, hey, I got great news. I just saved 15% or more on car insurance by switching the Geico, you know? Yeah, And I was like, that's kind of what the Christian life is supposed to do to you, mm-hmm. is that you have good news. You have great news. And so the, it's funny, of all the things I've seen on TV in particular, that illustrates kind of how I, uh, in my best moments as a Christian, that's how the gospel affects me. Is on, It's the like hilarious how much the things of the world don't matter. Yeah, in light of the gospel, things like that. So every once in a while, a a comedy skit or movie spoof can highlight something much better than anybody's dissertation or drama written about the topic. We hope you enjoyed this snack-sized taste of popcorn theology. Check out the full episode using the link in the description. Subscribe on YouTube for more content. Follow and interact on social media to share with others. And remember, you are not a mindless consumer.